morning everyone welcome back to my channel and i would like to thank all my regular viewers for joining me again today and if you're new to this channel thank you and i hope you enjoy this video today i would like to greet everyone a happy easter it's such a big day today especially for a christian like me because today we are commemorating the sacrifices of our lord jesus christ in the cross Normally, as Christians, we attend special church services in order to celebrate Easter. But since it's the pandemic, we only did it online. So, in addition to the celebration, I decided to have a special celebration here at home with my family. So, today, I'm going to show you how I'll do the charcuterie board. So, come and join me, okay? A charcuterie is a French word that describes the culinary art of preparing meat products like salami, ham, bacon, and others. But a charcuterie board has been popular lately because it's so easy to prepare. You can just take anything that you have in the fridge and you can assemble them and have them ready in a few minutes. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you what I have. I just looked in the fridge and in my pantry. So these are all the things that I found out. I have a prosciutto ham, which is perfect. That's the only meat I have actually. I have cheese. I have blueberries. I have some seedless grapes. I also have some brie and cranberry tartlets that I will be cooking in the oven shortly. I also have some mini pizza selection and that will have to go in the oven as well and that would be perfect i also have some chris i have doritos i have some lovely italian flat breads with olive oil and i have some olive oil and oregano crackers and i have some marshmallows so i'll show you how i'll do it so the first thing that we're going to do is turn on the oven we heat the oven to 200 degrees so we can put our tartlet and our pizza. So while preheating the oven, I have the tartlets and the little pizzas ready now to go into the oven once that's preheated to 200 degrees. So I'm going to put my apron now because this is going to be a bit messy. So guys, I am here now. I'm going to show you how I'm going to prepare my charcuterie board. So I have a big cheese board here and I have covered it with wax paper. So the food won't stick into the cheese board and I don't have to clean it later on. You just have to wipe it with dry paper. So first of all, I have my grapes here and then I have some blueberries as well, which I will put in the board. I've washed them already just to let you know and uh, try and dry them with some uh, paper towels you can do this whichever way you want and then I also have my uh, parma ham so I'm going to put that in the board I love parma ham they're one of my favorite cold meats they're just delicious I love every kind of food anyway. <laughs> I just love to eat. That's why my body is so sexy. I actually start gaining weight when I move here in Ireland because the food is just lovely. Everything is nice and fresh. So just pile them into what, whichever way you want. They'll be fine. They'll all be eaten anyway. Make sure now that you have your wash your hands properly before you do this, okay? Because you'll be using a lot of your hands when you're preparing the uh, charcuterie board. So I also have some cheese here. I only have one kind of cheese. Normally in a charcuterie board, you probably need at least three kinds of cheese. So I have just a regular cheddar cheese, but that will be all consumed, I'm telling you. Dave loves cheese. And I have some Doritos. 
So I put some in it as well. I love Doritos. I don't know about the girls if they like it, but they need it anyway. I need some crackers as well. Oh. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it will definitely look lovely because, you know, a charcuterie is uh, com composed of many nice stops anyway. So at the end of it, it will look lovely. So don't be too stressed about making it too beautiful. It's just as you want it to be. I have two kinds of crackers actually. So just make way for everything. A charcuterie board normally has crackers, crisps, some fruits. I don't have strawberries today. It would have been lovelier if there's a few strawberries. Also, you can buy some salami or, you know, what you call that, the other chorizo. Chorizo is lovely. It's actually one of our favorite, but I don't have that in the fridge today. So, and then you can also add some sweets. I have some marshmallow here. Just for the variety of taste. You can add nuts if you have pistachio nuts. It will be lovely on the charcuterie board. But today I'm just making do of whatever I have in the fridge. So bear with me. That's it. And then I have my mini pizza and the tartlets cooking in the oven. So I will show you later on when it's cooked how I prepare it as well. So guys, the tartlets and the pizza, they're ready. I'm taking them out in the oven now. And I'll show you how I'll prepare it, okay? So here guys, the mini pizza and the uh, tartlets are ready and cooked. And also I made some uh, meatballs uh, spaghetti. My family loves the uh, meatball spaghetti and uh, yeah, we're ready to dig in. So here's Mr. Cleary now. Hi. And I think he's hungry. Just arrived from work, so we're going to eat now soon. Okay, Han? Yeah? Easter is considered as one of the most popular Christian holidays in the whole world after Christmas. Unfortunately, during this modern time, the focus is on the commercial rather than on the religious aspect of the wow. celebration. For me, Easter celebration is just being with my family, having a quiet time, and just having a simple Easter dinner. Or probably you can do a charcuterie board like what I did. And I'm sure some family that has children also did an Easter egg hunt with them. But you know, at the end of the day, after all the celebrations, it is important for us to sit down with our family and probably reflect on the sacrifices of our Lord in the cross, on what He has done to save us from our sins. It has been a pleasure being with you again, everyone. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button, especially when you're new to this channel. And do leave me some comments down below. I will definitely see you again next week for another video. But for now, bye!